Good morning, church. Today we're going to talk about a different response to Jesus than what you would expect. We're talking about the man with the shriveled hand. Chapter 12, verse 9 in Matthew. Moving on from there, he entered their synagogue. There he saw a man who had a shriveled hand. And in order to accuse him, they asked him, that is, the Pharisees asked Jesus, Is it lawful to heal on the Sabbath? He replied to them, Who among you, if he had a sheep that fell into a pit on the Sabbath, wouldn't take hold of it and lift it out? A person is worth far more than a sheep, so it is lawful to do what is good on the Sabbath. Then he told the man, stretch out your hand. So he stretched it out, and it was restored as good as the other. But the Pharisees went out and plotted against him, how they might kill him. Is this not a stunning reaction? Mark tells us that in this, Jesus looked out with anger at the hardness of their hearts. He had this intense expression on his face. He's grieved here because they have elevated their traditions and their understanding of the word to the point that they would allow people to suffer in order to accommodate their man-made laws. And before we get too hard on them, I do want us to take a moment of self-reflection and say, you know, in my life, what what have I upheld as, as sacred and holy that is not really, maybe as a construct of, of something, uh, an expression of, of my belief that's not really found in Scripture, but just is the way that, that I choose to practice? And these things are not sacred things. And when people violate them, or, or do something different from the way that we do it, our reaction shouldn't be like the Pharisees here to say, boy, we just want to kill this guy. And he was challenging every authority structure that they had. They thought that he was putting himself in the place of God, which he was, and that was appropriate. We need to allow Jesus to take the place of God in our life where we have no particular values other than the cross, Christ and him crucified. That's what Paul knew. That's what we want to know. Christ and him crucified. So you see how Jesus challenged their very core values about the Sabbath, what it means to honor the Sabbath and keep it holy. Jesus didn't break the Sabbath ever. But he did redefine what it means to honor the Sabbath and to keep it holy and to uphold God's vision of what that meant to, to rest, to bring hope, to bring healing and restoration. And based on this, this is our, our goal as Christians, to bring a Sabbath rest to the nation. There are many, many weary people out there emotionally weary, spiritually weary, physically weary people who need the promise of rest that the Lord our God brings. And we are the people, we are the people who are supposed to know how to rest, how to trust the Lord our God to meet the needs. Because if I'm laboring all the time, that means I'm trusting in myself alone we need to put some of that burden on God because he says we can. We can trust him with that. And so let's not hate the people who challenge who challenge us, but let's take everything to God and to Scripture and let's love him more than anything.